up, motherfuckers? It's Rory here. Time for a brand new video for... Wait a second, hang on. If you're watching this in the future, maybe like six videos away from now, then technically this is not a brand new video. The fuck? I've been saying that because big YouTubers say it all the time. Hey guys, I'm back with a brand new video. Like fucking leafy. Dude, it's not a brand new video if you've never fucking seen a video before and I'm going back two years in the fucking past. Jesus fucking Christ, mate. It's not a brand new video. How can every fucking video be a brand new video? But if you think about it, I've never seen them before. So he's right. They are brand new videos. But what if I have already seen them and I'm going back through them? Hmm? That's not a brand new video. That's an old video that I'm fucking re-watching, huh? Shit. All right, we'll, we'll get into it. Without any further ado, and it is a do, not a do. Fucking hell. There's people that say, without any further ado. Adieu means goodbye in fucking French, mate. Without any further goodbye. It's adieu. 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 Adieu means fuss. Without any further fuss. Here we fucking go, cunt. I know I said I would do a favourites video every month. When was my last one? I can't even remember. The fuck did that bitch just say? I, I gotta I gotta listen to it again. I know I said I would do a favourites video every month. When was my last one? I can't even remember. No fucking idea. Close captions. I know I said I would do a favourites video every month. Yeah, it kinda does sound like that, doesn't it? When was my last one? I can't even remember. Now this bitch looks like a fucking cross between a fucking blonde pixie <laughs> and a fucking white habo rabbit. <laughs> Let me double check. And my last one was May, so I've missed out June and July. I was going to make a July favourites and a June one, but I thought that I'd just be making a video for the sake of making a video because I didn't have things that I really genuinely wanted to talk about. The rest of fucking YouTube has the same fucking problem. Nobody needs to make a fucking video. We just want to. We just fucking find something to talk about and do it. Fuck. So I skipped them because I was just like, no point making a video just to share stuff that I'm not even that into. Do you realise what you fucking sound like? Boobies. Boobies. I've left it a wee while and now I'm like, I've got things now that I genuinely really like. So now it's time to make a new favourites video. You are also going to think I don't wear anything else except Check shirts. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking, man, this bitch with fucking tartan bedspread and a fucking Shrek doll who reads Harry fucking Potter and everyday sexism. You know, I, I, would, I would say that your wardrobe is full of fucking checked shirts. So for the past couple of months, <laughs> I've been reading Everyday Sexism by Laura Bates. The book's absolutely boring. The fuck did she just say? The book is absolutely boring? Let's let's hear that again. The book's absolutely boring. Boring? Boring. 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 Boring? Boring. Boring? Boring. I don't think she knows what bogan means, because the way you're using it is not accurate. The the book is absolutely bogan. Say it again. The book's absolutely boggin. Boggin? Boggin. 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 Oh, boggin. 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 Uh, fucking hell. Your accent is excruciating, lady. It's been on my rucksack every day and I had a Kit Kat in there that had opened up and the Kit Kat went everywhere, so... Anyway, this is amazing. I've been reading it for a little while, more than it should be taking me. Because she can't read! Look, she's got the bigger version of Harry Potter. The one with the fucking big pictures and big fucking fuck off words. Huh? Yeah. Did Shrek help you? It's all about the different types of sexism that happens and people's personal accounts, people's tweets, people's experiences, people's stories, and it is so interesting. It's a book which has tweets in it. It's essentially a printed internet. Fuck a duck. Some of the things that happen you don't maybe necessarily think is sexism. It's just the norm, but it shouldn't be the norm. Because a book told me to say that, but I could have read it online for free on fucking Twitter. 
but this just gives you loads of experiences. It covers things such as women in politics, women in work, women in the media. I've not finished it yet. Oh, oh, you read that? Because she couldn't fucking remember it during this rant. That she had to write it in as if, oh, that was a... Damn it, I forgot about that tiny little chapter on sexism against fucking men. Shit a brick, hey? Fuck a cunt. I'm currently in on Women in the Workplace, which is just disgusting. I would highly recommend this book to anybody, all genders. It's just so interesting, it totally opens your eyes. Or it opens your eyes! No, it doesn't. It fucking does not. I also bought this though. I bought Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Like everybody else who fucking bought it as well. I read like three pages and I realised that I'm not a child. Bought it ages ago, so I completely forgot about it. Oh, la di da, ages ago, like you pre ordered it and got it before everyone else. Oh, you're 13. Bitch. Um, but I finally got it through the post and I've not started it yet. I'm... I've finished Act 1 now, but still not sure about it. You got it ages ago. All you're telling me right now is that you're fucking slow at reading. You fucking blonde headed retard. When you start it after everyday sexism. Has anybody read it yet? If you have, let me know what you thought of it because I've not really heard great things so far and that really upsets me. Why did you read it yourself and make your own fucking decision instead of fucking reading a book about it? Do you wanna, do you wanna read what other people have thought about the book before actually reading it yourself? Yep, that everyday sexism book is definitely up your fucking alley. I don't experience sexism, so I'm gonna read about it so everybody else can can tell me what they think about sexism so I can feel like I experienced it too in my puss puss. Somebody made a cum in my puss puss. Yeah, I've been so looking forward to it. I don't know, we'll see. So I jumped on the bandwagon of Stranger Things. Oh bitch. Oh bitch. Bandwagon, Stranger Things. If you talk down or if you talk shit about Stranger Things, I'm gonna jump through this fucking screen and rip your bunny teeth out. This one, oh my god, I absolutely loved it. You're fucking lucky, bitch. You are so lucky. You are so lucky. I, I was holding myself back. I was like, I was like, bitch, don't you, don't you fucking mess with Stranger Things. Yeah. I don't normally jump on TV show bandwagons just because sometimes I just don't have time or I'll be obsessed with another TV show. You know, I'm really fucking sick and tired of people calling these fucking multi-episode events TV shows. They're not fucking TV shows. <coughs> yes, they may be set out in a 10 episode format, but it's on Netflix. Do you know what else is on Netflix? Movies. It's a fucking long movie, bitch. But they've got a pussyfoot around it because people won't watch a 10 hour movie. They make it episodic. The cunts like you. <coughs> Motherfucker. Usually Pretty Little Liars. She just say that she's hooked on Pretty Little Liars. We don't want you on our Stranger Things bandwagon. Can we, can, can someone push her off the, the wagon, please? The Stranger Things bandwagon. Anyone? Jeffy? Jeffy? Jeffy! Jeffy doesn't want it. I think Jeffy's dead. <laughs> Shit. Can someone wake up Jeffy? Oh, he is dead, is he? It's about time. But I thought, right, I'll give Stranger Things a go because people on Twitter were saying it had like aspects of Stephen King and 80s horror poltergeist. You are really fucking susceptible to your fucking friends and strangers. You know that. Like through this video, there has not been a single thought of your own. You've said to me that you've read a book about everyday sexism that you thought was great, but it took you a little while to get through because you can't read well. Which is essentially other people's stories of sexism, not your own. Then you said you went through Act 1 of the new Harry Potter book, but you're a bit slow at reading it, so you're asking everybody else to tell you whether or not it's good. And now you're telling me that you watched one of the greatest episodic features of the year, but you said that you, you only watched it because some fucker on Twitter told you you should watch it. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say to you right now, because you're very susceptible to these things. I want you to watch every triple x parody that there is on the internet like like i'm talking i'm talking the best ones like whore of the rings american booty missionary position impossible 2 not one one's shit twink light sim similar to twilight almost the same as twilight the da vinci load 2 angels and semen tale of two titties titty titty 
Gangbang, San Fernando Jones and the Temple of Poon, Raiders of the Lost Ass, Edward Penis Hands. Yeah, no, no, I'm serious about that one. That one's a fucking tearjerker. Analyze these. Forest Hump by Tannic. Tits a Wonderful Life. Pulp Friction, Sluts in the City, A Clockwork Orgy, Flesh Gordon, Rebel Without a Condom, Honey I Blew Everyone, The Sex Files, Hori Potter and the Sorcerer's Balls, Sex Busters, Womb Raider, The Whore of the Rings 2, and American Cream Pie. That, that one's, that one's my favourite. Please, please watch them and, uh, and get back to me. Winona Ryder's brilliant in it. The four little boys that are in it, amazing. In fact, everybody in it is really, really good. Oh, great. So you're recommending it and nothing particular is bad, but nothing particular is very, very good. It's all just very good. It's just good. Is that what you're saying to me? I can see how people thought it was quite 80s, quite um, Spielberg and Stephen King. So good. Well, that's because it was set in the 80s. Would that, well, that be it? And like everything in it is 80s? It was totally gripping. It, I had to watch the next episode because something would always happen <laughs> in the previous episode that you had to know what happened afterwards. You know, if you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. Watch it and let me know what you thought of it if you've seen so it. So let me just wrap this up because this is this is the vibe I'm getting from you, Erin. You're not a reader. You've said more about Stranger Things and you've spent more time watching that than you have with reading. But you want to come off quite smart, so you start off with the books. Give it a 30 second spiel on each and then fill up the rest of the shit with fucking shit. With more shit crammed into it, like pop friction. Oh yeah, talking of sex, I'm, <laughs> I've been really obsessed with Twitter recently and I've pinned this tweet to my profile page but I tweeted this I don't believe women should be above men I don't hate men that's not what feminism's about at all it's about equality hashtag I'm a feminist here we go I don't believe women should be above men I don't hate men in in quotes there I don't hate men I just want them to die it's the I'm a feminist was trending on Twitter, so I thought I'd join in. Why not? Why not? Because I'm fucking illiterate and I've just read a book and I think I know what the fuck I'm doing, but I'd rather spend time fiddling with my bean and watching fucking TV. It kind of blew up a little bit and I've never had a tweet blow up before. And by blow up, it's not blow blown up that much. Well, I can tell you why it's done that. It's because you have no knowledge on the subject. That whole fucking tweet proves that you have no idea what you're talking about. You're saying that you're for something, but then you don't hate men. Why bring it up? Fucking hell. It's like, I'm a Nazi, but I don't kill Jews. Well, you know what? I wasn't thinking that you killed Jews until you said you don't kill them. So now I want to protect all the fucking Jews. I don't, because I might get a Jew on me. That's more than any of my other tweets I've ever gotten before. But then along with that came a lot of comments and a lot of tweets from anti-feminist people who assumed that I was a man here. Would it be because you wrote, I don't hate men, I just, despise them. She didn't write that. But that's what the fucking quotations mean. I don't hate men per se. I'm more of a active hater. I want them to just kill themselves. Or I could kill them if that would help. That's it. I'm out. Fucking done it. Done and dusted, motherfucker. Fucking Scots, right? Jesus Christ. I'm starting a series, uh, one of many that I've started, that uh, is called Raw Review. It's coming very soon. Uh, each week I will be reviewing something just in general life, not a particular thing. So not a movie or, or, or a book in this case. I will be reviewing just something general, like the first episode will be Facebook. Something simple, just like Facebook. Or, or cups, or, or walls, something like that. If you recommend anything that I should review in my raw reviews, then hit me up down below. Uh, you can contact me on the Twitters. My Facebook page is blowing up now. I've got like 20 people liking me and shit. Huh? And I've got the Instagrams. Fucking mmm. Taking photos and shit. So contact me. Let me know what I should review. And you never know, I might use your suggestion. So, uh, oh yeah, I've got one other thing to say. Eddie, if you record over any of my videos again, I'm gonna fucking murder you. 
and your entire fucking family. Do you understand that? And that, my friend, is a hate crime. Peace! I killed the guy.